Yo, what is poppin' YouTube gang? It's your girl Envy. You already know we are back with another video. Yo, it feels like I haven't filmed in mad long. Like, I be feeling kind of awkward right now. But as y'all can tell by the title, you already know I'm gonna be doing an iOS 14 update. I'm gonna show you guys how I customized my home screen. It looking mad dope though. So y'all stay tuned. And I have some things that I wanted to show y'all. Um, maybe y'all didn't know about the new update. So yeah, if y'all want to see how I did this and whatnot, then keep on watching. <laughs> bear with me i have some notes here so i don't forget to mention anything but this is what my home screen looks like well i guess the first page um i have two widgets at the top and then like the calendar in the middle and then a couple of my main apps that i use on a daily and then this second page here i have my little baby there and then i um personally customize the ig facebook and snap and then youtube and pinterest and also safari and then um this little this little um, reminder thing right here i'm gonna show you how to do that and then this third page here it's just a picture at the top and then um the date on the left side also these are like my editing apps and then just a quote on the bottom and then here's also just another page and yeah so let's just get right into it so the first thing I want to mention to y'all is on iMessage. On iMessage, they have this new thing where you can pin conversations to the top. And I just think it comes, I just think that it really does come in handy because look, y'all peep this. Um, like your most current messages or the, the people that you message the most, you can pin to the top, which makes everything so much easier. So to do that, you just click edit and then you click um, edit pins and then if you want to add someone to the top you just swipe sw oh my fault you don't swipe you would just pin it and then you click done or if without you don't have even have to click edit you can just swipe over the person's name and then pin that and if you don't want um if you decide you don't want to pin a conversation with somebody you just click the edit button and then the minus and then it goes away so that's pretty easy. I really like that because it's hella convenient. You don't have to scroll through any of the messages to find the person that you want to text. So the next thing I want to... Oh yeah, the next thing is the reminders. So peep this. So I'm going to just go over here and just write reminders right here. So there's this new thing. Okay, I don't know if it's new or not, but I just discovered it now. On the bottom right hand, it says add list, right? So when you add a list, I think this part's new though. When you add a list, you can pick the color that you want. So let's just do, I don't know, gray. And then um, you can pick an icon to go with it. So let's just do a quick shopping list because I want to show y'all. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this video. I thought I heard something. I'm doing this at 4.42 in the morning, y'all. Like, I, how am I not tired right now? All right, so let's do, all right, perfect. We can do that little little shopping the basket all right so let's just put shipping no shopping shopping list all right click done okay and then you can just add whatever you want eggs milk grab you know but yes isn't it cute Look, now it's the it's the fourth one down. Now you see the little shopping list. But um yeah, so I have that as one of my widgets. And then I think you can edit it. Yes, edit widget. And then you can click the different list that you want. Okay, let's see. Where's the shopping list? There it is. And then boom, you got the shopping list right there for y'all. That's mad convenient. I love that. But um I was on Instagram the other day and I seen some girl. She she um put her home screen as her story and then I seen that it had affirmations and I'm like yo like that's real cute and it's smart too because um your girl be a little insecure sometimes so you know whenever I'm feeling down I'll just read those affirmations and there you go so I'm gonna just put this back to where I had it 
but it just makes it just makes your screen look mad cute so that's one thing that i like <clears throat> and then um oh another thing i wanted to show you guys is on photos there's all right so you can obviously you can hide if y'all didn't know you can hide pictures right so let's just go ahead and hide one real quick so i'm gonna go ahead and hide this so you just click edit no my phone you don't click that um, you click the share button, right? And then you go all the way down to where it says hide. So then you hide that, hide photo, go over to your albums, go all the way down. So you all peep how it says um, under the utilities, it says hidden, right? So you got, I got two pictures there. So watch this. All right, so we're gonna go to settings, go to settings and then go all the way down to, I think it's photos, go to photos. And then y'all see how it says hidden album? We're gonna turn that off. So when we turn that off, boom, y'all peep that? It was gone. So now if anybody ever looks through your phone, they'll never know that you have anything hidden. You feel me? So I don't really need to use that feature, but I see it on YouTube and I was like, yo, let me let me share that with y'all real quick in case anybody, you know, wants to use that feature. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah. So let me show you this. Um I'd be screenshotting a lot of stuff, but let me show y'all. So they have a new wide range of colors, right? So you just screenshot something and then go ahead and click the colors. Like, look at the spectrum. Like, you can pick any color you want. Like, so all right, let me see. Let me try to find like a cream color. I'm gonna, nah, I'm gonna find something. Y'all see that changing right there? That's pretty legit. Um, but yeah like who needs all those colors like of course they went all out it's apple but that's that um let's see oh i forget how to do this so there's um it's for people who actually need this for accessibility but um let's just do it right now because i didn't um i didn't set it up yet so let's just do it there's like a double tap and a triple tap that you can set to anything that you want to like make it go to. I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but let's see. Mm, no, that's not it. That's not it. Damn, where is it at? Is it touch? Mm, mm. Oh yeah, okay here, so there we go. You go to ex accessibility and then you go to touch and then at the bottom it says back tap, right? So then I'm gonna just do the back tab. So let's see, back tab, let's do for screenshot. Now let's do for, let's do volume up. All right, so then, so what that does, that what that means is I'm gonna double, double tap the back of my phone and then it should turn the volume up. No? Bro. Oh, all right, y'all seen that? <laughs> okay, there you go, it worked. So that's pretty cool, but I think I'm gonna change it to like a screenshot or something because I'd be screenshotting a lot. Um, Let's see. Oh yeah, so I don't know, I just discovered this when I was um, customizing my phone, I found out that you can actually stack your widgets, meaning like, let me just show you like here it says hey beautiful but if you swipe i actually have more so then it says humble we have to like little notes to remind myself um you're amazing you got goals so yeah i think you can stack up to like 10 of them but i only did four and then on the right side i have the weather and then my battery life and then i also have a couple more um over here Cause you know sometimes it gets boring looking at the same thing, so you know switch it up a little bit. Got a, little, got a couple um ones there, cause I need some ones in my life. And we got a little my little baby. So yeah, um, oh yeah, so I'll peep this. So when you when you go to photos, right, you can actually zoom in and out. I'll show you like this. Watch, you just like pinch your fingers, boom! Look at all that. That's so convenient because then like you can find pictures more easier that way. And then if you click select, there's one thing that I found. Oh no, click the three dots at the top right. 
And then look, it says aspect ratio grid. And look, it changes it. And then um, if you don't want that, then you just click zoom out. Oh no, I don't want that no more. Okay, yeah, there you go. It was square photo grid. So that's that. Um, oh yeah, here's another thing. You can search up emojis now. So let's search up sushi. Let's see what comes up. Hey, that's lit. Y'all see that? That's so convenient. I love that. Um, so that's cool. Um, oh yeah. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was how to hide a page. I didn't know this until I watched somebody's video. So let's say I want to hide the last page, right? So let's just tap on the screen. Just hold it anywhere on the screen. And then you tap um, at the bottom where it has the dots. And then boom. So let's say, like I said, we want to hide the last screen. So you just uncheck that. Then you click done at the top right. You click done again. Watch. Look. Boom. It's like it was never there. And then if you want it back, click where you click before. Oops. What's going on? What's going on? Boom. And now it's back. All right, so let me show y'all how I customize my apps like, like Instagram, Facebook. Okay, never mind. I'm tweaking. All right. <laughs> so let me show y'all how I edit in or I customize my apps like I did for IG. So let's do one for, let's just do one for mail. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to find a picture first. So you can either go on Pinterest, Google, or you can make your own. But let's just go to Pinterest. Um, what was I going to put in? Oh, yeah, mail. So let's see, mail. Okay, maybe I should be more specific. Mail icon. Okay, I can't type because these nails. Okay. Oh, let's do aesthetic. Hmm. I kind of like this one here. So let's just download image, keep current selection. All right, so I'm going to go to my photos and um, crop it to a square because I find it's just easier that way for me. Um, okay, and then square. Because if you, if you don't crop it how you want it, then if you go to the Widgetsmith app, Oh yeah, okay, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's just crop this. That looks fine. All right, so the other app you're gonna need is called Widgetsmith. Um, it's on the App Store, I'll show you. It's free, but that's how y'all can get all these cute little widgets over here. We can just open it. All right, so I have a whole bunch, bro. Like, I have a whole bunch here. So we're going to... Oh, wait, what am I doing? We don't need that. I'm getting myself mixed up. So we're going to... We're customizing an app right now. So you're going to go to Shortcuts, which you should already have on your phone. Go to Shortcuts, and then you're going to click the plus in the top right. Add Action, Scripting, Open App. We're going to choose mail. Here we go, mail. Um, then click the three dots at the top. Shortcut. We're going to name it mail again. Add to home screen. Label it mail again. Unless you want to name it something else. But whatever you name it here, it's going it, to, that's how it's going to appear um, on your home screen. So then you click that. Click choose photo. Boom. Nah, see that's too small, so I'm going to adjust that again. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm like really picky about this, like it just doesn't look centered to me. Hold up. Okay, good enough. So then you click add, right? And then done. 
and then we should go to our home page boom oh wait <laughs> all right so the bookmark is that's what it's called like the bookmark it appeared on the the not the page that i wanted to be on so then i'm going to click the original app edit home screen and then we're going to move to the app library so then we're going to bring this over here no 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 i want it right there oh excuse me sir excuse me oh you don't want to move all right i'll move this way hello sir this is so annoying you were about to move there we go and that's how you do it oh yeah so let me show y'all how to do um widgets oh yeah i know i didn't show y'all this look at look at look at us he was um a couple days old when i took this picture or when my sister when my sister took this picture um this was when he was like a little over six months this one i just got off pinterest and this one is our most recent one probably like was it last month i think it was last month but yeah don't like that's really my swing y'all all right so to do this widget smith you're gonna have to if you don't already get the widget smith app from the app store like i said i have a whole bunch um so let's see should we create another page just for the hell of it all right let's just create another page so i'm going to edit home screen i'm just going to drag one of the apps to another page just to make it easier um all right so going back to widget smith let's see what do we want to I think I have a quote already saved. Or let's just add, should we just add a photo? No, I have too many photos. Let's go to Pinterest real quick. Go to Pinterest. See, so that, that's what happens when you customize your apps. Um, It takes like an extra second because it has to go through the shortcut. Um, True quotes, okay, let's do that. I could read all these right now. Um, let's just do. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like this one. It's not your job to be everything to everyone. All right, so let's save that. Keep your own selection. All right, so this is what I was talking about, about the cropping. Because if you don't crop it how you want it before you um, put it on the widget smith, then it's going to crop it um, just by default. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So, all right. No, I don't need that. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to use, this is how we do it. Add small widget, then you tap that. Let's just name it, because if you don't name it, then it might get, um, to unorganize so let's just do um i already have a lot labeled quote but let's just do that anyway what am i doing um click down to where it says photo select photo choose photo first one oh it's not bad it's not bad that the way they cropped it so then just click save then we're going to go back to the last page here hold down on the screen anywhere you want then click the plus in the top left going over to small add widget and then it automatically defaults to i think the first one that you have on the list and you tap the widget click it and then it says it lists all the ones that you have ours is the last one which is quote and then boom there it is so yes, that is how you do that. And then if you want to stack them, you just hold down, edit home screen, and then drag it over to whatever one you want to stack it with. Let's just stack it, oh, stack it with this one. 
and then we drag that back to where we originally had it, which was right there. And then boom. Look at that. It's fire, right? I really like this um new update. I love it a lot. It's fire. Like I swear, like when when I updated my phone, I was customizing my phone for like hours. Like I was at work bored, so this is what I was doing. I was like, eh, this don't look right, that don't look right, da da da. But yeah. I don't think there's anything else I want to show you guys. Whatever apps that you don't have on your screens is just um goes to your app library. Um yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to add. Um, I don't think I think that pretty much covers everything. Oh, I forgot to mention one last thing is there's this new iMessage update where you can actually reply to old messages. But the only thing is they all have the people, everyone in the group chat has to have an iPhone. So if you want to reply to an old message, all you have to do is click on the message that you want to reply to. You just press down on the message and then you click reply. And then so I don't know, let's just say LMFAO. And then you click send and then watch what happens at the bottom. It shows that you reply to that message. So I thought that was pretty dope. And I think that's the last thing. All right, guys, that is it for my iOS home screen setup slash tips and tricks you didn't know. It is currently five in the morning. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I covered everything, but I hope y'all like this video. I hope that you gained at least one thing out of this video that like you didn't know about the new update, but yes. I hope y'all liked it. Be sure to give this a thumbs up. Um, comment, you know, talk with me. What is your new, I mean, what is your favorite um, thing about this new update? And yeah, I really hope I see y'all in my next video. And I also want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers, bro. We hit 100. I'm so happy. We only going up from here. And also, I made a new YouTube banner. So make sure y'all check that out. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, y'all have a good night or a good morning, rest of the day, whatever, where, whatever time it is when you're watching this. And I'll see y'all hopefully in my next video. Bye.